welcome to another lesson viewers and subscribers now for this lesson we'll be looking at additional flowchart questions now this question requires us to write an algorithm that reads two numbers and now we're going to find the average of the two numbers so in the previous example or the previous tutorial we had looked at a question that requires us just to find the total of the numbers so now we're going to find the average so remember the first thing that we'll need to have is our start symbol followed by prompting the user to enter the two numbers which we which we represent here as num1 and num2 following by accepting these two numbers from the users or the user so the first calculation will be done that will be done is to find the total of these two numbers and that total would be stored in the variable sum. Therefore, to find the average, all we need to do is divide that sum by the two number by two, which will represent that we are dividing by two numbers. Right? Because you know in mathematics, you would to find an average, you would have the total divided by the amount. And finally, we will print the average and then terminate the program. Now let us look at a question that requires us to use a decision symbol. Now this algorithm requires us to read the mark for a test and if the mark is greater than 50, it will print the message passed, otherwise fail. Alright, so let us look at this solution. So you know we prompt the user to enter the mark for the test, followed by accepting the mark from the user. Now, since the question required us to only print the message pass if the grade was well if the mark was greater than 50 we would need to introduce a decision symbol here that will demonstrate a branching point for the person that would pass or the person that would fail so inside the decision symbol we'll make a comparison with the 50 mark so so we would say if mark is greater than 50 then we would print pass right however if the mark is less than 50 we would print fail right followed by terminating the program now it's very important that we indicate where the yes or no should be placed and that shows the direction of the flow of data throughout the algorithm Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another lesson.